Hello, my name is Vera Pretkova. I'm a research and application scientist at CCDC. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to docking using Gold. Gold is a docking program. It is an algorithm that generates realistic binding poses of a candidate ligand in the active site. The acronym GOLD stands for Genetic Optimization for Ligand Docking. It consists of two parts, uh, pose generation and pose evaluation step, which uses a scoring function. In order to begin docking, we can go to GOLD tab at the very top of Hermes and click on Wizard. We now have a new window that allows us to set up our docking. We can choose the protein uh, structure. We have now a protein tab open. We need to prepare the structure before we start. First of all, we need to protonate it. Uh, gold uses an all atom uh, model, so the protein must, be, uh, must have all hydrogens added. It is also possible to protonate using SMARTS-based protonation rules. So we have a window that tells us how many hydrogens have been added. Another thing to take a look at is the uh, terminal CO and H2 groups of asparagine and glutamine residues can be flipped. This can be useful when dealing with poorly resolved protein structures in which you suspect the oxygen and nitrogen atoms may have been incorrectly determined. There is also a, a tautomeric tab. Um, gold will not vary tautomeric states during docking. So to specify the tautomeric state of particular histidine residues within the binding site, just select the histidine residue you wish to edit from this list. So now let's take a look at the water tab. We have a list of all the crystallographic waters. We can either select a few of them uh, from the binding site and extract them for docking, or we can delete uh, the remaining water molecules. Then we go to the ligand cofactor tab. Uh, we can choose the co-crystallized ligand for docking. We can redock that, um, but for that we need to extract it first and then reload it uh, for docking. We can usually keep the cofactor uh, if it's not in the binding site. We have to choose where we would like to uh, store the ligand structure. Now we have to define the binding site. We can either define the binding site from an atom position. In that case, we can click on the atom and the cavity is defined to have all atoms within the selected radius of 10 angstroms. We can change that. We can also select point and usually would like to choose a point at the center of the cavity, like this, or we can also just put the XYZ coordinates of the point. We can also define our binding site from a, a ligand structure since we want to use the co-crystallized ligand. We can choose that and typically all atoms within six angstroms around that ligand will be selected. Or we can also choose the list of atoms or residues and then we have to specify that list. After visual inspection, you may wish to refine the binding site definition. To do this, switch on the checkbox labeled Generate a Cavity Atoms file from the selection. Uh, by enabling this option, the binding site definition will automatically be expanded to include all atoms in the existing definition, plus all the atoms of their associated protein residues. To manually um, refine this selection, click on the refine selection and you have now the list of residues that will be within the binding site. Now let's 
take a look at this add definition as a selection you can click on that and then if you want to take a look at your selection for the binding site you can always go to the atom selections and choose that and you can see that in the display area your selection is highlighted now let's go to next we have several templates for docking here we have to add the ligand that we want to dock and we can choose several ligands take a look at the genetic algorithm number of runs gold will dock each ligand several times starting each time from a different random population of ligand orientations so typically the default option here is 10 times um, but you can customize that you also can select several ligands for docking we also can choose uh, the reference ligand um, to calculate the RMSD. Then we have to select uh, a scoring function. Gold comes with four different scoring functions. The default scoring function is the CAMPLP. And we have to choose the options for the genetic algorithm. Slow will give you the more accurate solution, then you have medium and fast. And uh, this allows us to complete the basic setup of gold. We can click on run gold and that uh, saves the configuration of all the options you've chosen into the gold.conf file. This is a text file that you will be able to reuse and change it manually to run your calculation again. Thank you for your attention. <music>